Hi, my name is Peter Barassa. I'm with MMRSite.com. I'm with Tony Singer at the Automobilia Show in Monterey for the Monterey Car Week. And Tony, you sell vintage posters. Besides putting the show on, I deal in original posters. Where do you get the product? I get about um, maybe a third at auction world, worldwide, a third from other dealers, mm -hmm. because most, I should say most, virtually all the other poster dealers that you'll ever meet are generalists. They got food, they got wine, they gotcha. got travel, they got this, they got and that. And they got nav right. cars. And then there's somebody like myself where all I have is, is cars. That's it. Yeah. That's the only thing. Most of them have been professionally archival linen mounted okay. so that what you're doing is that you're almost putting them in like a water bath, a yes. flat water bath. Yes. The posters do not disintegrate. Yes. Okay, because paper had water in it. It will tend oh. to absorb water and give up water. Paper goes back and forth. What about the colors? Well, unless you're unless something is happening where they've been affected by light. Uh huh. You, you will not trash the color. So what happens is you now have a sandwich, and that is that you've got uh, the, the canvas, the, the linen, and then you have a piece of archival paper affixed to that with a water-based adhesive, and then you have the poster affixed on top of that, that archival paper. Can you get me just a small poster? So he, here's the canvas. Oh, okay. Okay, and then this paper, it looks like this, canvas, yeah. Right. This paper is affixed to this with a water-based adhesive. The key with the water-based adhesive is that, in theory, this is reversible. Oh. So if you stuck this back in the bath, it, you can make it all come apart. Okay. So, and then this is affixed to this with the same water-based, it's called a wheat adhesive. The method that in the 60s and 70s in, in particular that w we used to see being done is what's known as dry mounting. Yes, of course. Okay, so you go to your framer and say, you know, I got this poster and uh, you know I want to frame it. Well, they would dry mount it even though you didn't ask about it. Right. And the difference with dry mounting is that it is a solvent-based adhesive. Okay. They use heat and they use pressure. Okay? okay. And it will take, let's just say, a $3,500 poster and make it worth about $500. Really? Because it is frighteningly expensive and very, very difficult on the poster to reverse to that save process. save it. I see. You, it can be done. Well, as an example, that was affixed to board. The uh, Monaco? The Monaco, the 36 Monaco was affixed to board. It has the best color I've ever seen on a Monaco for a 36. Because for whatever reason, whether those inks were particularly color unstable or something, but generally it's a much softer, faded kind of thing. This was affixed to a board, which okay, sometimes they are, but it was affixed with, a, with an adhesive that was not water-based. It was $2,000 to get it off the board and onto canvas. That's, that's, that's heart-stopping. Well, well, it was heart-stopping to what, me because I didn't anticipate it. <laughs> yeah, that must have been more than heart-stopping. Uh, well, so what does it know, have to sell for now? Oh, uh, this is this poster is nineteen thousand five hundred. Oh, Tony, that's wonderful. Yeah. And like this, this Clausen piece, yes. which is a nineteen thirty four Art Deco masterpiece. Yes, uh, that's a twenty four thousand dollar poster, and it is. It, it, I, I know of one other in the world. That's amazing. When you get into the pre war era, it, 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 they're so rare. They're so difficult because most of them would have been put up on a kiosk with whatever glue they used. Yeah. And that was it, that was yeah. the end of it. These, most of these ended up being saved because they never they got They were never put up. used, I see. They, because there were collectors in the day who were collecting. Really? And, and you would see this stuff just put away. And, and what did you say that one was, would go for? The, uh, the Brussels, that's about 14000 $14,000. Well, it's absolutely stunning. Isn't that I mean, incredible? I mean, is. that's an Art, Art Nouveau masterpiece. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, she's an angel. Yeah. Tony, thank you so much for sharing all this with us. We really My appreciate pleasure. it. We've My learned pleasure. a lot.